Okay guys, so the rotational plank. Now I did a demo anyway, but just to help you out a little bit more. Rotational plank is fabulous because you get some shoulder stability all the time you're working your core muscles right round like a nice tight corset. So it's a great, great move. Um, I showed you some options yesterday, but I'm gonna show you a few more now. If you find it just too difficult, start off with on all fours, very light pressure through your hands, tightening up your core and literally just squeezing your hip bone round I shall show you from the front. Mm -hmm. You just squeeze your hip bone round to the side and round to the other side. So look, so squeeze, come centre, squeeze, come centre, squeeze, come centre. That's a good way of starting to use your core if you're a complete beginner. Now, when we do the rotational plank, I like to do it down on the forearms. Uh, Ash, yes, <laughs> my little helper here. Beep, beep then, Ashton. So I've come down onto my knees. Mm. Got my forearms directly under my shoulders. Make sure it is under your shoulders. You don't want them in front, otherwise it's too much stress. Pull in your tummy muscles or do up your imaginary zip and relax your shoulders back and down. <laughs> Stop it. Relax your shoulders back and down. I've got my knees apart to start because that'll make it a little bit easier. I don't know why this dog wants to kiss me. And then all you do is rotate your body. Look, now I've got one knee down and one leg straight. Now just from here, can you see where my elbow is? It's right underneath my shoulder. And if I touch here, these muscles are really nice and tight. And then come back to the centre, and then I turn. And if you notice, I've got my top leg straight and my low leg bent. And that's quite a nice way to do it. You can do it really slow. Now, if that's too intense, because down on the lower arms is actually quite hard. Straight arms, really good as well. Keep the core muscles contracted, retract the shoulder blades, look forward, just turn. But this can be quite tricky initially for your wrists and stuff. It's great, it's very, very good, and it's very, very strong. And then centre, and then turn. Now, of course, the next stage is to do it with straight legs. Now, if you start with your legs apart, when you turn, you're staggered. Look, the more you keep your hips up, the harder it gets. Come down, and then turn. Obviously, I can make this a lot worse by having my feet together. Keep my core muscles contracted, and as I turn, Hold it, it's a lot harder to balance, okay? Yeah, or of course I can do all that on my forearms. So either knees down or straight legs and apart. Again, keep that shoulder right on top of that elbow. Or I could do legs together and turn, come centre and turn. Okay, so that's just a few things to help you out with that rotational plank. So you can do hip pitches, you can do down, you can do up, whatever you want. You can have your knees apart, you can have the legs together. Just try and access it. And we're gonna do this for the whole month so you'll get better and better as we go. Remember I said it's great, so it's really good for your shoulder stability, it's great for your core strength. You know, you will get a flatter tummy, your back will be stronger, your waist will be nipped in. It's actually pretty fabulous. So again, if you struggle, let me know and I'll try and give you a few more options. Um, but yeah, give it a go. It's only one minute every single day. Write it down how many you can do and see how strong you get as this challenge carries on. And I hope you enjoyed Ash and the little chihuahua um, giving mummy and you some help. So talk to you later, guys. Try and check in daily. I'd love to know you're actually doing these challenges with me. Um, yeah, just fire away. Ask me anything you need to know. Bye.